This is an unboxing for the Samsung LED monitor model S24C550VL. On the left hand side of the box you've got your postal address and a sign saying fragile. On the opposite side of the box you've got more details about the products and a couple of barcodes. On the top of the box you've got the Samsung logo, you've got full HD, 1080p, 2 milliseconds fast response time, along with more details about the product. The front of the box is exactly the same on the opposite side. On the top of the box you've got the Samsung logo and right next to it you've got information about the product in different languages. Obviously when you open the box with a knife to cut the sellotape make sure you don't get the screen or any part of the product but I'm sure you'll be fine. So first you've got the plug socket and the power cable. Next to it you've got a part of the stand which I think goes into the back of the monitor. And just below it you've got the other part of the stand. On the other side it looks like you've got the manual and the warranty along with the cables to go into the back of the monitor. You've got the mobile high definition link cable, another is the European power cable, you've also got your VGA cable, and you also have an auxiliary cable. I'll just show you the ports in a sec, but here's the screen. You've got three parts to assemble the monitor. You will need a flathead screwdriver. Uh, you've got, you can put the monitor onto the stand and then put the stand onto the base or in any other combination. I'm sure it doesn't really matter. Okay, this 24 inch Samsung monitor is standing next to my 21.5 inch iMac. Okay, right, I'll show you the ports now around the back. So, on the left hand side you've got the power cable, next to it you've got your two HDMI ports, your VGA cable, and also your audio and headphone jack. And just in case you're interested, that little thing in the middle with the arrow, that's only a place for the screw. From the side you can see that it's pointing straight and then it can go all the way back and it doesn't really f go far forward. However, it, for me, it seems to do the job fine. I don't have to, if anything, I have to push it back a bit. Now, one of the best bits of having the monitor, you get to take off the protective seal on the front, and here we go. So when you do put your cables in, there's a little clip on the back of the monitor to make things a bit more tidy. When you plug the monitor in, you've got this little standby light which turns off when the monitor is lit. Right, so that's pretty much the exterior of the monitor. Right, so now I've got the monitor plugged in. The first impressions, the monitor looks really good. The image quality is really clear, really crisp, and what you would expect from a Samsung product. And at the moment, there's a bit of light coming from outside, and as you can see, it hardly has an effect on the monitor. It looks really good. Right, okay, and now for the menu, you've got one button which you can tilt left, right, forward and back, and to select you can press in. I'll show you a picture of that from the manual just so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so if you press in, on the left hand side you've got your source, at the top you've got your menu, on the right hand side you've got the auto adjustment, and also at the bottom you can turn the monitor off, or you can just return back to the screen. When you go into menu you've got settings for your picture, your colour, your menu settings, your setup and resets, and just more information about the screen. So to adjust the volume and the brightness, just switch the switch left or right, you'll come up to this little menu here. You can flick left to go into the volume settings, or you can flick up and down to go into the brightness settings. To change the volume, you can just press in to select volume, or flick it right to go to the volume bar, and then go up and down to adjust the volume. The brightness setting is pretty much the same, but you've also got a choice to change the contrast as well as the brightness. Okay, so I'm going to play a bit of GTA for you just so you get an idea of what it looks like and I'm not very good so you have to bear with me. So I'm going to do a quick audio test for this monitor. If you listen to a lot of music and you do a lot of gaming on it and you like to hear that good sound quality, then obviously, yeah, do you will probably get speakers anyway. But if you're just going to use it for Word documents, browsing the web and the occasional YouTube video, it'll do more than fine. I'm recording with a Rode VideoMic Pro. It's not going to be perfect for your ears and from what I can hear, but I'll show you the test so you can, you can kind of hear for yourself. Oh, yeah. 
And that's pretty much it. That's the Samsung S24 C550 VL. First impressions, I've, I've used it pretty much for a day. It's a very good monitor. It's just around the back. You've got your two HDMI ports, which is very useful. You've obviously got your VGA port in there. You've got audio in for your headphones and also for the speakers. You've also got a nice clip at the back to make it look relatively smart. Um, the screen, it's a nice weight. It's not too weighty, but also it doesn't feel like it's going to fall over. This is a really good monitor. You can, the quality of the image is really good. The speakers are of a decent quality for the monitor with built-in speakers. When I did buy this screen, I was looking and I was a bit worried that it was quite high off the ground. However, as you can see, it just stands more or less the same height, if not a bit smaller than my, than my iMac, which is good. Like I said, if anything, I have to tilt the screen a bit further back rather than forward. You can get monitors cheaper than this, but if you, if you wanted to spend a little more for that extra HDMI port or to put more trust into Samsung with their speaker system, which isn't too bad, um, then yeah, I'm sure it'll be a nice companion with my Mac. I highly recommend this monitor. It's the Samsung S24 C 550VL. This is my first unboxing video, so I'm a bit of a rookie. I'm sorry if I've missed something out. I probably have, um, but I hope this has helped you out, and thank you very much for watching.